All right, all right, all right. It is here. A few more minutes. We're here, everybody. Grinders. What's up, everybody? Just 77 here. 7780. Oops. What, what grinds my gears? I'm so excited. So excited. Dude, it is time. A few more minutes, and it will be midnight. It will be PlayStation 5 launch. And with that, we're going to do my grinds intro. And I got Frogs here. I will bring him on in one second. But let's do my intro. Yo, we got it. Yo, what's up, Frogs? How you doing, man? Everybody's I'm ready. good, man. Do fingers are on the button. We already. Yeah, tr I'm Everybody's trying, on man. Target. But, uh, Get that PlayStation Five going. Nice. Make watching sure everybody on target, me. man. Everybody's on target. Just. Trying to uh, trying to get one. So smash target. We're on there. So what's up, everybody? It is almost the twelfth PlayStation Five launch. How's everybody doing? Booster did come in hot, very hot. And uh, yo, uh, oh, check yeah, out came YouTube's been messing me up, man, like crazy. Um, I'm hope I'm on the right channel. I don't even know what the hell's going on YouTube. I tried using the event thing, man. I'm not gonna bore everybody with that kind of crap, but man. I tell you, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody's in the right link because I was going live with something else. What's up, Brigade? How you doing? But yeah, man, it's been uh, it is crazy times, and I know everybody has a couple of minutes, and uh, Frog is ready because Frog has been trying to get one. But yeah, YouTube's been a yeah. mess, man. It's been a friggin' mess. And hey, I'm going to put my browser back because I had it taken down from the last time. It's a friggin' disaster. It's a disaster on YouTube, but guess what? Gaming is ready to go. Hopefully, the PlayStation uh, doesn't come in as a hot hot mess either. But, um, but yo, I know Frogs have been waiting oh, trying to there, get one. There, I'm going to tell you, man. And introduce it, Frogs. There he is. Frogs, no oh gaming. He is, he is waiting to try to get one right now. We're going to do it live. We're going to watch Frogs go crazy if he can get one. Yeah, hopefully I get one, but I don't think I will. You know, I, I will say this. Uh, this, you know, 2020 is a horrible year. This, mm -hmm. this in perspective, just just being in it, we're in the last couple of months. You know, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans yes. out there, number one. You know, yes, I'm, happy I'm a veteran. Frog too. Yeah, happy and, veteran. Yeah, and, 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 you know, sometimes I don't, it's not that I forget intentionally. It's just kind of like you get, you get kind of busy with life. And life kind of moves on, and you kind of sit back and you say, "Wait, today is a special day, not just for me, but for those who serve." Happy Veterans Day to you know all those who have served, yes. and um, and those who are serving now, like you know, like my son. Um, uh, that's number one. Number two, I'm in, you know everybody knows I'm in Florida, and we're going through this crazy storm right now. Mm. So we're we're just getting rain dumped on us, and I'm in the Tampa area. So if you're watching the map. Tampa areas, we're just getting rain dumped on us. I mean, the streets are flooding. Mm. It's crazy out there. They're telling anybody to stay in their house. My kids didn't have school. They're not going to have school for the next for the rest of the week because uh, they're shelters. They're they're you know they're shelters uh, for the storms. And I know it's yeah, supposed to be a category for one ish tropical storm, but uh, it just yeah, it's crazy. Twenty is a disaster. Uh, elections, people passing away. You know, just this COVID, everything is just bad 2020, 2020. And I'm hoping 2021 gets better. I don't know. Maybe the beginning, we start out like 2020 and maybe through the middle, we change. But this is what I'll tell you. Uh, both, you know, uh, PlayStation 5 with Sony and Xbox Series X and S with Microsoft. I think they both these companies, and I think it has a lot to do 2021. They just didn't do a great job to me so far launching their consoles. It's been all, uh, and it's how you been do weird. the pre-orders. It's been weird. Yeah, and 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 in in comparison, like I was telling you earlier, like Sony, we didn't know the PlayStation Five had two SKUs, a discless and a disc version. And when Sony surprised us with that, everybody's like, "Whoa, this, this is." And me myself, you know, three ninety nine. It's not because of the price; it's because I, just, I'm a digital guy. I don't buy physical. And I was like, oh, this is great. But what, I, what I've seen and just kind of like the retail space just when you see the consoles, everything is the physical version, the $4.99 version. And I'm a little pissed yeah, about that. Have been and the reason I'm pissed find. is because it's 
Because I, I think, yeah. Well, I guess the reason I'm I'm I'm, I'm ir- target right irritated now. and pissed. Say it again. I'm sorry. I'm check target right now and see. Are you on it? The reason I'm pissed and the reason I'm pissed and irritated. Yeah, I'm on it. The reason uh, I'm pissed and irritated. Find. Pop Finder lets you know, kind of like, hey, where your uh, stores will have, you know, what available in stock. And my store that I'm located near has like yeah. 35. You're the problem is, bit. all 35 with the physical. Yeah, they're all physical. But they're not the digital. And it kind of pisses me off. Um, I, I think that Sony is marketing the console and they really. Uh, Frog, check your stock in your stores. I'm on the Target website. He, yeah, I got thir- there's like, 35. Did you get it? No, I didn't. It says check stores, see if I am in stock near you. That's what I'm seeing. The new thing now changed. Uh, let's see. So it's in stock now. Did they say they're going live at midnight? Uh, well, they said, you know, about that time. So we're well, about it to changed see. the status we're- right now. Yeah, they said you're botting on, on the thing, but at the Oh, I'm, am I botting? Out. Yeah, a little bit it was before. Hold on, let, let me now it has a check stores, dude. I, I, it says everything's out of stock in, in my area. Let me check it again. No, mine doesn't even have a... Uh, well, the, the website changed a little bit. But oh, anyway, so it is... My store. So, <laughs> yo, what's up? Room flow. How you doing, man? How you doing, Puck Channel? Link, what's up? How you doing? So yeah. So anyway, so while Frog's looking at the, he's he's he has all the websites open. Yeah, if, unfortunately, yo, we're trying to get Frog's uh, a PlayStation Five with 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 everything going on. I was able to get Crazy. one as I was waiting for friggin' Wendy's, and I was in the car and I was spamming Amazon, and I got Amazon, and it went through. Then I got the email from Amazon telling me that oh, you might not get it at launch. And I remember back when I got the Xbox One, Amazon was like came like days later, and I was like, oh man, that sucks. And uh, right. I was like, the same thing's going to happen. Well, Amazon pulled through today. They shipped it. It said it's coming tomorrow. I was like, holy crap, because they finally shipped it. It kept saying, like, we'll let you know nice. when you ship it. And then it said, like, it said 8 o'clock tomorrow. And then it said 10 o'clock tomorrow. Nice, I'm like, nice. don't you dare. When I wake up today, don't you move that. And then it still said 10 o'clock. And then it went. And then it says, actually, I, I was talking to BitCloud earlier. Shout out to BitCloud Mooch. I was on the uh, the, emer- the awesome like m- middle of the day uh, crossfire. We're talking about Xbox and stuff like that and how everything's been going with them. And uh, he was saying, they charge your credit card. Check it. Checked it. They did. And then, yo, what's up, CTR? Nice. How you doing? And then nice. I went. And then later on, it said shipped. And now I know where it is. It's in. It's somewhere in Pennsylvania. Um, and now, you know, it said it'll be here tomorrow with the friggin' the 3D Pulse headsets. They're going to be in the same box. So you're going to get nice. that picture tomorrow when I get in the box. Best Buy already nice. crashed, Iron Fist says. But this is, we're, we're, we're working here live. It's midnight. It is PlayStation 5 launch. Dudes, we are here. We don't have it in hand. But we're ready. We have it in hand. And then the other thing that pulled through was Target. So freaking Target was sitting there with nothing. And then all of a sudden, Target goes shipping. And I was like, holy crap, they're shipping it. Now, they now are telling me get I'm going to get it on Wednesday of next week. And I'm like, oh, snap. Wow. And then I went to the FedEx number they gave me. And it said it's coming Friday. So, and the same thing goes with uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is saying it's coming Friday, too. Uh, God falls on back order. So uh, it, 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 I agree with Frogs. This has been an absolute disaster on everybody's end. The, the, the retailers, the communication. Like I said before, I still never got the friggin' email Man. saying that pre-orders opened up from anybody. No, I, no, I never <laughs> I did. put my email in there saying, oh, let me know when pre-orders are available. I still never got that email. But, you know, it has been bad. And the other thing, too, is like, you know, I, I feel it's like one of the, I was telling my wife this thing. I was like, you know, this is one of the first times that uh, something came out and I was not at a midnight launch. Right. No lining up outside, no picking up my thing. Like Xbox One, I picked up my, my, my launch console, uh, you know, at Best Buy. I was upset because it was number 13. I was like, oh, shit. You know, all those omens, like if it's a crush box or it's all this other stuff, it's like, I don't want that one. 
you know, and I had to, mine was a number 13, my Xbox One. I'm like, uh oh, this better not be 360 remissed, like revisited, you know. 360 I got at launch, the Wii I got at launch, the GameCube I got at launch. Um, but as I said, I never really got a PlayStation. Like, I got the PlayStation 1 for Christmas, and I never got a PlayStation 2, got a PlayStation 3 halfway through. And then, um, you know, I was getting uh, OG Xbox I got a year after because I went GameCube because I was really into Nintendo. I had Nintendo 64. Mm-hmm. Didn't get that at launch either. I got that later. But um, you know, my launch consoles was the Wii, the GameCube, and I was like my Nintendo thing. I always waited out for the Nintendo thing. But, yeah, that's right, Pug, number 13. And uh, and then the Xbox One, I pre-ordered at Best Buy and got it. And also I got the Switch, too. That was another thing that... You know, with the pre-orders and you just go pick it up, you didn't have that whole like waiting out online overnight stuff, like right. Friday type stuff. You don't have that. But uh, yo, the man, world I remember changed, the game man. Game. The world is yo, changed. yeah. And this is very. It is kind of anticlimactic. Like you know, they would probably had a Times Square. Both of them would have. They would yeah. have had a Times Square event and and stuff like that. And I was surprised. Like Sony really just kind of did a little jap like a Japanese thing with their headquarters. Like Microsoft did do kind of some like that little. That thing was pretty cool though. What did you see? What Xbox did. Yeah, they had like that. That they had that like video box or something like that, and they they had some like you know a bunch of (laughs) it was basically like running commercials on it. It was like velocity architecture and all this other stuff. But um, but yeah, I waited out for the GameCube and I waited out for the Wii. Those are the two, man. And the Wii was like a last minute wait out. I was like, yo, this thing's getting hyped up. You know what's funny is um, I'm gonna tell you the funniest story uh for the Wii and the PS3. I just walked in the store on launch day. Uh, I found out what days they were launching. I think, and I want to say they were the same day uh, for the Wii. And if I'm not mistaken, for the Wii and the PS3, I think they were the same day. Yes, you know, Wii and PS3 was, yes and, you're right. We and, and the I walked the same in. Day. Yeah, I walked into the store, and uh, I see. I well, I I got up early that morning. And I forgot all about the console launches. Right. Yes. Was yeah. going to go shopping at the time. I think I was stationed in uh, Fort Hood, and um, it's when I first got there. Forgot all about console launches. Went out to the store and I was like, why are there like three people standing? And it was a foggy day. I was like, why are there three people standing in front of GameStop? And so mm-hmm. I, I walked over and I was like, what's going on? It was like, oh, a new console's coming out today. The new Nintendo console. And I was like, oh, okay. So I stood there. Didn't uh-huh. pre-order it or anything. Uh, stood in line. I was like the fourth person. And the guy was like, you pre-order? I was like, no. He's like, well, we got some extras. And I bought, I bought the Wii. And I was like, He's like the PS3 came out today too, and I was like, "How much is it?" And it was so expensive. I was like, "No, it was." Wait. And that yeah. was the thing. And so, yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. and I, and so and he had extra PS3, so I bought the, I bought the Wii, and as I bought the Wii, uh, I remember leaving, and I, I I can't remember what games I got, but I got basically like whatever. It was Nintendo Luigi's Man Wii Sports? No, I think Luigi's I got Wii Magic Sports and something. I'm sorry, else. Wii Sports and. Uh... It was something and like, else. oh, what was the the oh no game I freaking got? I got Wii Sports and I got the one with the uh, holy crap, what was it? Chat the uh, the one with the gun and the sword. Oh, that's Red Steel. Red Steel. Red Steel. Yeah. Red Steel. Yeah, that's, that's what I right. got. That's what I got. I got Red Steel because Red Wii Sports Steel. is included. And yes. you know what's funny is I played Red Steel a little bit, but I constantly play Wii Sports. That's yes. the only thing well, that's I played. Right, I did. And uh, uh, you know, it's funny. I didn't have the PS3 for about a good year after it came yeah. out because it was too expensive. And I ended, up, I ended up getting one later because um three sister bread ring of death. But I, the reason I ended up getting one is because I had a soldier who's getting out and he ended up buying Red two Steel, PS3s. And, oh my God. Yeah. Long, make a long story short, I did get a PS3, but it was like a year after launch. Um, yeah. Usually how I get my consoles, I get them around the launch window. So in the first six months, I get them. I got mm-hmm. 360 day one. And that was a disaster because Red Ring after Red Ring after Red Ring. As a matter of fact, a good friend of mine who worked at the game store, we almost got into a fist fight Jesus. because he thought I was, yeah, he thought I was doing something to the console. And I was like, no. And, you know, many years later now, we, we always talk about it. He's like, man, he's like, if I had only known that, you know, Xbox 360 had a 50% failure rate, he said, I mean, he said, you know, because at the time he was the manager of the game store. Yeah. And, um, and he really thought I was breaking them. He thought I was doing something with my consoles. Jeez. I was like, no. And it was just so crazy, yeah. man, because, you know, friendship for almost lost over this. And I'll say with this PS4 and Xbox Series uh, X and S launch, um, I don't see a reason to get an S unless you uh, just want. There's no reason booster. to get an S. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. 
take your take your extra money, take that extra, you know, couple hundred dollars, just buy an X. If you if you really are serious about uh going into the next gen, don't buy an S. I, I think that console is gonna die really quick. Uh really quick death. And and I think that it's it's gonna there's two sides to it. I think one side is gonna be that you know, the Series S, it may sell. And when people start realizing what you can do with the X, I think it starts slowing down. And yeah. I think that the X doesn't sell to maybe, I think it sells to the hardcore, but I think a lot of people still see a 499 console as like, oh, this is kind of expensive. I think Sony did price the 399, 499. I think the 399 Dude, that, that, console is that what, 399, yeah. I know. That's why you've been looking for that but one, the man, because it is the problem like a is I, I don't think. And that's weird. Like the yeah. problem is, I think that's a console that people are going to want to buy, even yes. if they know it's 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 you know a digital one. And you know, there's some things I've heard about different people saying it on different people who I know who actually consoles. Like if you don't hook your Xbox uh, Series X, I don't know about the S, but I know the X. If you don't hook that thing up to the internet, day one you can't use it. You just can't yeah. use it. You have so, to hook it up to the internet. Which the PS5, you know, from what I've been told. Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. who pump, you can just yeah. p- plug and play and, and ready to go. Which in this day and age, it's 2020. We we realistically, let's be real. We should expect our consoles to be connected to internet for the most part. Pretty I don't, much, I, yeah, I don't yeah. see. Yeah, I don't see. You know, when you buy. But EA, you see what happened though. Everybody yeah. hit the servers and people couldn't even get their thing to the it, main it, screen it, or it, play games that, until they got that. That doesn't update, make right? sense to me though. Dude, Phil Spencer has to check you in, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Jess. There are three. There are three things that happen, right? And 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 the three things that happen every year. Well, with the exception of this year, this year is, is different. We, okay, the, the the three things that happened this year is we had a console launch, right? Yeah. Everybody from Sony and and Microsoft should they expect it, you know, because your pre order numbers are high. For these consoles to be hooked to the internet, they should have expected that surge. They should have prepped for that. I don't know how you don't prep for that. Number two, Call of Duty comes out every freaking year and has the uh, same problems at oh launch. Oh, yeah. We weren't the same, expecting this it, thing. It, it, if the bait is upon bait. You, you, I don't get why these companies will say, we didn't expect the surge. Yes, you we freaking did. Expecting this. You expected it. It's like... That what's wrong with you guys? Like every freaking year, when Fallout releases a game and then, you know, or Bethesda releases a game like Fallout, and they're like, "Well, we weren't expecting it. you. Were, you know, your games are bugged. I you know, yeah. know they You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm getting tired of the companies making excuses of things like, "Oh, we didn't expect." This many well, you know yes, what it is. Did. It's actually what they do is that it costs them money to like to, to open up a whole bunch of servers at one time. So what they do is they slowly roll them out as they're needed. Because why I'm going to set up like you know a thousand servers and only one quarter of it is. But guess what? You're paying right. for ex- that all that overhead. The thing is that gives the person a better experience. However, what they like to do is max out the servers before I buy or rent more servers because Agreed. you know they want to make the most amount of money back. So they rather have you, you know, get connection issues while they go, "Okay, well, you know what? We got to open up another another 2000 servers. That's going to cost us more money." You know, it's all cost. Like they they right. just can't they're renting servers. They're I'm going to tell like, you what you I'm going to do. They're doing that. Yes. And that's what they do. They trickle it out. Because I doubt I'm going to be able to get one on Target. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do originally. You're gonna go run. A lot, are you gonna go to a different? A stores, lot of right? people said you're not gonna be able to get them in stores. I'm gonna go down the street to my local Sam's Club. I'm gonna right walk. Now. I look. I'm gonna walk in at 7 a.m. in the morning and try to get a console. And if I can get it, so be it. If I can't, so be it. I will yeah. wait. Uh, what, this is what I think. And, and, oh shit! And they got back like, in stock bundles over at uh, GameStop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The bundles are gonna be there. Uh, no, me, but the me... digital bundle, Frog, they got a digital bundle. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh... Seven forty nine. Right now, they got... They, they're not bad. It's one year of uh, the PlayStation Store gift card. 59 one-year PlayStation Plus. The dual... T- uh, <laughs> let's see here. We got the controller, the media, the camera. Um, seven fifty. Shipped to home. Expected in, uh, in a couple days. A few days. Expected on the 16th, it says. Let's see. Wait a second. So digital's 400. You get in the camera, which is 60. The the media remote is 30. You know what? I think the problem is, and it's kind of like you get an extra and, controller too. 
Yeah, I already have the extra controller, right? Uh, here's the problem. But return that with, one and get use this one. Right. And get and the here's bundle. the problem I think I have with a lot of these 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 bundles and and and, and well, at least they're not giving you Spider Man socks, dude. Right. Like, it's, least, it's all look, like least, stuff. Exactly. At least they're not giving you a lunch box. <laughs> yeah, a lunch box or like a PlayStation or shirt. Freaking, they're giving you a, a freaking vinyl bag with Fallout. <laughs> you know. I mean, I, I think that in and and a lot of people are gonna say 2020 coronavirus is the reason. I just there okay, there is some validity to that. I think that yes, the virus has played a yes, part. Raven Flow, but right. there's there's some bullshit to it too, because you know you have a console launch coming out. PlayStation 4, let me tell you, what I pre-ordered a PlayStation 4 three times in, in the multiple different places and was able to easily acquire one at launch day, even if I didn't pre-order it. Yeah. But my, I just can't understand this this launch is just very well, Funny, it's, it's a know? whole bunch of crazy stuff going on. I'm telling you, like, we would have, it would have, this current, it drives me crazy. That was the reason why I was late, too. Like, we're talking about all the stuff with the schools, going back to school. So, so I apologize, everybody, for, you know, the, the tweet earlier on. And then YouTube was messing up. But, yeah, like, this whole thing has just been a, a, a disaster. Like, we, you know what? The thing is, too, is I didn't even think, people didn't even think these consoles were going to launch. With the whole, like, everything going on. And it's amazing that they still were able to get them out. You know, for whatever they're, they're trying to get them out here. But the problem with these things is just being on digital is that it doesn't give you that kind of thing where you could just head to the store and just kind of line up and go go like kind of raw dog and, you know, just like line up and say, I'm going to get one. So shout out to Gaming Addict who like did that, which, you know, that's awesome because that's, that's what console gaming is about, right? I'm going to wait out. This is it, you know, this whole pre-ordering thing. You know, you, you're, you're battling bots and, and eBay people and all that other bullshit that you have to deal with. You and know? That's, the, that's the problem I have you with know, the it online sucks. market. Like, yeah. They got I'm people. Do you, you see that Walmart one at 12 o'clock? Yeah. You want to know how many freaking things are just like are going to run? Auto bots run? are waiting. Oh, my They're God. Waiting. 12 o'clock at Walmart. But, yeah, like, you know, I'm saying like this one, I'm trying to add this one up, this bundle here. On GameStop, it's the digital one, which is like, you know, the unicorn, but it's like four, f- five hundred, sixty dollars, five sixty, another control is seventy, wow. so that's six forty. The immediate thing is like six seventies. Yeah, yeah, you this know what? Controls that's, about that's actually not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad because you're not, it's not like you're paying an overhead for a bundle. Like, it's just, and it's all kind of usable stuff. It's the camera, the media remote. You're getting an extra controller and the charging dock, the digital version. You're getting a hundred dollar PlayStation gift card, a PlayStation Store gift card, and you're also getting a year of a PSN. That's not that's not a bad that's not a bad bundle right there. Yes, it's seven fifty. No, that's but not like, bad. That's, that's you know, not over four hundred. But... Right. But yeah, I mean, you get the charging a dock. Bundle. No. I want to, you know, but it's the I, digital I because the digital has been so hard to find. That's, that's the because they do. Find. But for fifty dollars right. more, they got the one with the physical, and they got two controllers, no dock, a sixty dollar PlayStation Plus card, Spider Man, uh, the the Ultimate Edition, and NBA Two K Twenty One. So for fifty dollars more, you get the the physical one with two with another extra controller and uh, two games and PlayStation Plus. They're not bad bundles. They're not bad. Only four payments of one ninety nine. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, those are the. Hey, if you're looking for bundles, if you're looking for PlayStation stuff, you know, GameStop has them, but they're in a bundle, and it's actually you know, it's a, it's not it's a decent bundle. It's it's excessive if you want to spend four hundred, three hundred dollars, four five hundred dollars. But you know what? When it comes to it, I even looked at what I was doing, like, you know, all the accessories I'm buying, yeah. You know what? That might have been, uh, that digital one might not be too bad. And I can return some of my stuff, but, eh, I can't buy another one. But, yeah, it, it's there. It's available online only. So, just a heads up, you know, GameStop has those two bundles there. Um, not showing them right here. Hold on. Where's my, uh, there you go. So, here they are. The, the launch day one and then this one. And they look like they're available. That let me see if we go here and uh, yeah, there we go. So, you so said this is the one bundle that they got here 749. Not bad, comes with all these things, and then you got your other one. 
This one for fifty dollars more. So this is the only thing I see right now. Add to cart. So it says expected November sixteenth. So that's the only one. You know, if you really want a PlayStation right now, Grinds is showing you hot off the presses right now. That's it. Target is saying out of out of place. Best Buy still says coming soon, and uh, Walmart says tune in tomorrow at twelve Eastern Standard Time. Uh, shout out to over thirty Grinders watching live. It's the Grinds after dark. Hit that like button. You know, we are celebrating the PlayStation 5 launch and, you know, trying to find Frog the PlayStation. Uh, but, yeah, hit that like button, everybody. But, yeah, I, it's, you know, it, it was rough. It's It's been rough. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm lucky to, to, to hopefully come one comes fine, everything tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'll be unboxing it and, you know, and doing everything and definitely have the next day or so off to play. Um you know, definitely to experience the new UI, some of the games, uh, some of the games that I'm getting right now. I'm definitely gonna play Spider Man. Uh, I'm getting the Ult that edition. I'm definitely gonna get, um, uh, probably gonna try Demon Souls out. I'm gonna try Astro Bot first thing to see how that controller goes because I've been having that controller and I want to see, um, you know, how that goes. Uh, download that Bug Snacks and, uh, and you know, start, start getting acquainted with the new UI and, and all the features and things like that and set that up. Uh, and then my second one, that's the one that's going to be Santa's bringing, Santa's bringing that one. And then, uh, for my son, so that one, he will, you know, he'll migrate over to that one. So I got to kind of hide this one, play it in my man cave and not let him say it, but, uh, Oh, yo frogs, Sam's club has them online right now. Yeah. I'm in Sam's right now trying to get one. Get in there frog Sam's club. Hold on. Their side is crashed. Because every time I go to add one, it says, uh, you're only Keep trying. Available. Keep trying. I don't know what the hell this is. It has like a big advertisement on Sam's Club. What the hell? Oh, is yeah. It? Sam's Club has them. I got a Sam's Club right down the street. From go me. get them. Go, so I'm go, definitely, go. definitely trying to get one. Here, PlayStation 5. I'm looking for you, too. Two was the. <laughs> Sam wants to do the poem again. Two was the night before PlayStation 5, and the excitement was sky high. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. It has been busy. I was going to do one for the PlayStation, but um, you know what? Uh, I think we all know where it's going to go from here. But yeah, the PlayStation 1, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going live on midnight. You know, we're going to just do that. But, um, you know, hold on. Raven Flow says, hold on. Guys, if you're finding anywhere that has it, let us know. We are, I'm trying to get in this friggin' Sam's Club. Frog got further than me. Sam's Club is showing me some splash screen. But I'm checking Twitters too, man. We're doing this live. Trying to get you guys PlayStation 5s. There it is. Yeah, so a couple of cool things that I've been hearing, right? Um, So they added wish list to the store with the PlayStation store. They added, um, so they got that to add it to the store. Apparently, too, after you boot up a game, a lot of the logos and everything that you see, once you do it once, um, all right, it says it's shipping only through Sam's Club, no walk-ins on launch for PlayStation 5. So unlike the other the other ones are going to do. Um, oh, wait, Sam's Club let me through? No, they didn't. The seat. Okay, yeah, the Sam's Club crashing. So Frog must have got in. The Sam's Club's website because I'm at the, the splash screen, but um yeah so like cool the wish list awesome um and then they're also the the biggest thing that that I'm also excited about too is the presets that was something back with the 360 did where you could uh, do the inversion I could set up my 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 inversion for the cameras the third person first person cameras I could set difficulties on normal. Um, and then once you boot up the game, those presets are already set in the options. I don't have to always go to the options of every time I get a new game and change it. And it was something I always had to do. And, uh, you know, it's nice that they have that, especially the inverted stuff, because I always play inverted. And that's the first thing I change in every game that I play with the camera, because that's the way I play. And uh, the fact, and I love that in the 360. 360 had that, and then they took it away with the Xbox One, and they never brought it back. And now, um, you know, PlayStation has it. Uh, same thing with the snap and the overlaid video overlays and the video tips. And, you know, I'm in the, even if the media is allowed to do that, I don't know yet. Um, the whole 1440p thing, I have a 1440p monitor, but I don't game on that. I'm going to be gaming 
on my 4K HDR projector. That is where PlayStation is going to be for now until I migrate all my other PlayStations to be PlayStation 5s. But right now, you're going to see a picture of my... I'm going to take a picture of my setup, but I got a 100-inch wall that I'm going to be playing all of its next-gen glory in. Surround sound, at most speakers. It is the Grinds Theater. And that's where the PlayStation will be played. And that will be one of my setups. The other one in my office, I will see. Uh, you know, I want to see how well that PlayStation 5 streaming app works. Um, you know, because then that might maybe give me some life in some of the PlayStation 4s. If it does stream, that I don't have to automatically run out. And I think it would be a good kind of pacifier that, you know, if somebody's using one of the TVs or something like that, I could go and see how that works, if it is acceptable with the streaming. Because it does have better Wi-Fi streaming, we'll see. Um, you know, but if it is a laggy mess, it does stream at 1080p, but if it doesn't look so great, you know, in, in a crutch, it might work out and turn one of those PlayStation 4s into something that could, you know, work on PlayStation 5 in a crunch. But, um, you know, that I'm looking forward to, but I'm really, you know, just getting this thing up, set it up. And, uh, you know, I haven't had a 4k Blu-ray player, like, you know, so I guess, you know, get a movie here and there, but I'm really, you know, it is what it is. The reason why I went physical first off was that was all that's left. And secondly, I was always wanted to go physical because of um, because I liked it. You know, Target's doing a buy two get one for free, and uh, that's for physical games. And I did Call of Duty, Godfall, and uh, and Cyberpunk with my buy two get one for free. And um, what I'm trying to do is uh, is you know you at least get some option to able to um, to you know to use a used game. Or to buy a game in, uh, you know, to buy uh, to buy a game from retailers that actually may have a cheaper value. You know what I mean? So like, you know, they might put a game on sale. You have more. You're not just dependent on the digital store all the time. So that's one of the things, uh, you know, that I went with the physical version for um, to have that option with that. But uh, you know, those are some of the definitely features I'm excited about. I'm you know definitely you know interested. I'm probably gonna get the. Um, Sackboy's Adventures probably later on, or that'll be something for Christmas. You know, get that uh, for that one. Nothing, not running out to grab that one. We'll see how that goes. And then, uh, you know, and then the other games like Assassin's Creed, Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft game, not buying. Uh, I wait for those things to go on sale. Uh, and then, um, you know, I wait for those Ubisoft games to drop. And then, uh, and I really don't want to put, I see a lot of these videos here where they're, um, you know, uh, where they're showing like the first 20 minutes of the games or 10 minutes. And I don't want to have that streaming in the background. So just sorry, guys. I don't want to show those kind of videos of gameplay because it's some spoilers. And I don't want that. Like if you want to, I don't like, well, here's the first 22 minutes of the game. I don't want to see that. I'm not watching that. Nah. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, here, this will show. I'll show this some of this stuff. Just so you have some visuals to go with the PlayStation 5 launch, baby. Woo! No, not, not Linneman. But woo! Demon Souls. My goodness. This this game looks freaking crazy. There was some screenshots from here. I was like, whoa. So man, I tell you, it, it is uh, yeah, this looks crazy looking. So um But it's here. And you know, and good luck to everybody. Big D, what's up? You know, it's here. And uh you know, hopefully those who want to get it, Frog is, is searching uh, a lot trying to grab that stuff uh and i know it's gonna be you know we got plenty of Turbo Man's Tiger, 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 Tiger. <laughs> there'll be plenty of boosters <laughs> i know jcat yeah and, and europe has to wait another week and so to the 19th to get there so um yeah it's it's been it's tough it's it's uh and with social media and all that other stuff you know you see who's getting it and and yeah it's uh what I'm impressed with actually looking at these two things, like the performance mode and the graphics modes in a lot of these games, this guy's nasty looking. But, you know, the, the performance modes and graphics modes, even the Spider-Man, like, yeah, it just turns off ray tracing. But, like, it really, it's not this huge, like, drop in some of these games that we're seeing, especially with the PlayStation-focused games. Yo, what's up, Plus Ultra? How you doing? Um, but, yeah, uh, it's... I'm, I'm excited also to get the Pulse headsets. I've been trying to find those. And uh, and really wanting to uh, 
to try those Pulse headsets out because I do have the Astros. I did a you know unboxing and a, a semi review of those. I will be doing a review of the other headphones, the Pulse, and how they're compared. So you could guys stay tuned to this channel because I will definitely be comparing the 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 Octus Seven Ps versus the uh, the Pulse uh, ones. And uh, like what sounds better? What does the three D better? Um, I'm, I'm a huge, you know, headphone junkie and I've reviewed tons of headphones, but I will definitely do a comparison on this channel to, um, you know, to tell you which one's the next one. And if the $50 extra is worth it and things like that for the two PlayStation five headphones. I know, I know I'm looking at Sam's club too. I was locked at that screen for that's a frog zone frogs on Sam's club. He's trying to get it. Um, but, um, yeah, so like it, it, it's really, it, it, it uh, it's an exciting launch. It's a little anticlimactic that the fact I got to wait for it to in the mail, like I wanted to be out there online getting it, um, picking it, playing it tonight. You know what I mean? Like, that's the one thing. Like, I remember I was like, I want to play it at midnight on launch night. Like, I want to be playing it right now. Like, I don't want to have to wait all day tomorrow for shipping to show up. But, like, it's the nature of the beast, man. And even uh, even GameStop, like, I don't think people were able to pick it up at midnight. Uh, I think it's 9 o'clock tomorrow. Or, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, what's up, Cyber Dragon? How you doing? But, uh, yeah, see, so, yeah, I know some people are getting it later. Uh, you know, it, it is, uh, it's tough. It, it's, it's definitely, they didn't, they didn't really make it easy for anybody, uh, you know, with the way they did it and with everything on the online, like, come on, look at what they did with toilet paper, crashed the internet, crashed Amazon. Like it's, it just shows that, you know, as, as advanced as we think we are with the internet and all that other stuff, like. Uh, it, uh, that sucks. Like it, uh, we we can't handle anything. Like we can't handle everybody going online at at one time and stuff like that. We're not set up like that. And uh, you know, and and, um, and these consoles, it's gonna be real interesting to see how many they sell. Like if they start announcing numbers, I think Xbox was just like saying, "Hey, we sold the most Xboxes." Phil with some Philness, you know, we sold the most Xboxes we have ever sold. Uh, but he's not gonna release sales numbers. They asked, like, "Oh, you gonna?" Re-? No, we don't do that anymore. So it is what it is. Biggest launch ever. Yeah, I took the biggest crap ever, too. Well, compared to the other ones, I don't know. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. That's all they say. It's all biggest and all these big adjectives. Best, most powerful. It's all just personal statements. Like, you know, and then, you know, speaking about those kind of things, like, you know, we did see, um, we did see today, you know, that first comparison between the PlayStation 5 and the, uh, the Xbox One. Uh, the Series X, I mean, oh, shame, shame. And it was with uh, Devil May Cry. It was the first one, Devil May Cry 5 Remastered. Um, you know, and again, it was very, uh, you know, we've been through this. I, I explained this before. Yo, what's up, Plus? You know, we kind of been through this thing already. Like, we've seen this with the X. Like, we've seen that, you know, just because on paper you're the most powerful console just doesn't necessarily mean that it transcends into the games. And uh and one of the things that um you know uh you know one of the things that that's really interesting is is that uh you know the PlayStation 4 def- definitely had a better um a better optimization when it came to game development and they, and they actually say that in here and I'll, I'll play that part. But yeah, like when they do the performance mode like this is the normal 4K mode. You can hear what they're saying here. So you would expect something, you know, uh, a, a wider gap between the two. But at the same time, there's so much more to the makeup of a console than uh, just the hardware specification. That's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't done a straight Series X versus PS5 spec comparison. It's holding up. Because, you know, obviously we've been hearing some interesting things from developers about how these systems are performing. And fundamentally, the the litmus test the only test that really matters is the games and here we are it's the first game interesting result but as we shall see (laughs) there's some interesting stuff still to come okay so this is so thus far we've established series x has a slight advantage right yeah but when we jump over to the high frame rate mode uh things flip a little bit so at first you might think okay the cutscenes. It's similar to what we just saw. Slight advantage on Xbox. And it seems in this mode they're using some sort of reconstruction from what we can tell. Uh, But then you actually get into the gameplay. And suddenly, PlayStation 5 takes pole position. And I'm... (laughs) This is really interesting then. So, it's... 
And they, they actually kind of trade blows at different points. Like there's this scene here, which is actually is actually a little bit faster on the Xbox. But these other scenes all seem to run noticeably better on PS5 overall. Uh, especially this one here. Like when you get into this area, double. the frame rate drops really hard on the Xbox for some reason. Nowhere near as hard on the PS5. I mean, what, what do you think's going on here, Rich? Yeah, interesting data again. And we can only really sort of offer up conjecture at this point but the dips look really strange to me and it kind of suggests to me possibly some kind of api limitation on the xbox side where the gpu is being held back by something now i don't think it's the cpu and if it's not the cpu and it's not the gpu where do you go from there it's not memory bandwidth so it does suggest something at the system level something at the api level but yeah, fascinating results here because we've gone from a slight Xbox advantage where I'd say that PlayStation 5 was punching above its weight to here where actually I think we ran the numbers in terms of overall averages across the whole clip and they were essentially like for like. But you can see that um, when the Xbox is dipping hard, it dips harder and it seems to have an advantage uh, in more select areas and in cutscenes, whereas in gameplay, which is the kind of more uh, crucial part of the equation, it is the the PlayStation 5 that has the advantage. So yeah, <laughs> it's just fascinating to see the whole situation kind of flipping almost from what we saw in the first test. Yeah, precisely. And I can also report, I tested this with VRR, variable refresh rate, on the Xbox version, which is supported, of course. And unfortunately, I mean, the jump in frame rate is so significant that even VRR can't fully save this. Mm -hmm. It still feels like it kind of goes up and down in a way that's rather noticeable. Yeah, and I've got to say, um, VRR on Xbox, it really is a killer feature. And I said in the, the PlayStation 5 hardware review that it's sorely missed yeah, on the Sony and one of the other things too, I wanted to to oh, another neither area. version is really a, is where oh, well, this theme, stood out to me here. Oh, this part. Okay. And over 60 FPS, uh -huh. which is pretty cool. But this. It was where they talked about the API. And, I thought they were going to mention it there. But then we have the RT quality mode, which is a little bit different. RT quality mode. Okay. And quality. The, um, There's some where they said about the development, so yeah, the API. In more select. You say it here. Let me say it. Resolution is dropped significantly. <laughs> There's parts where the PS5 has some slight advantages. I guess to me it's like yes, you do have a slight advantage on Xbox, but mode when the resolution is dropped is extremely similar. Yeah, definitely. And but then we have the actually the free. I think it's at the after this. What you're getting here is that PlayStation Five spec wise is punching above its weight, and yeah. something's up with Xbox, which you know on paper at least should be significantly ahead. But you know, we've been hearing this from developers for some this months part. now that you know when they develop with PlayStation 5, they're instantly getting to grips with it. It's an evolution of what they've used already on PlayStation 4. That's paying off for them big time. And uh, with Xbox, they've had to move on to a new system. And, you know, a lot of people aren't so happy with change. And, you know, it takes time to adapt. So, and, you know, there may well be inefficiencies at the, in the software stack. So, yeah, we just don't really know at the moment. But... I think the bottom line is that, well, the, the experiences are sort of broadly comparable, and that kind of makes me happy in a way. Yeah, I mean, they each have advantages in certain areas. Obviously, PS. And here it's this, also and worth then, quickly mentioning just like that this game has said. very fast loading times on both consoles, but that's one area where the PS5 version, again, Whoa. is slightly faster. Right, okay, because, again, this is kind of flipping the tables a bit, where the on-paper spec advantage of the PlayStation 5 you know, it's like a two to one advantage over the Xbox Series X. But the real life advantage in this title, at least, it only translates to what a couple of extra seconds on the Xbox side. It's, it's hardly a sort of <laughs> deal breaker, really, is it? That's exactly right. So both no, load no, very, deal very quickly is. now. And but like, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that none of these things are like a real or super deal breakers, like. It's just the thing is, is you hear how surprised they are because it, it is like on paper and it's being touted as the most powerful console. These things shouldn't be happening. And we kind of went through this already with the One X. Um, 
with just like you know the one X just like it just went with like resolution locks and I think Ravenflow was oh, I think uh it was um somebody was saying it I think it was uh mod not mod uh I think it was Ravenflow saying that the lot there's something with the um the you know the the resolutions like they're locking these resolutions and they they went for resolution over performance and the Sony said well we're gonna tone the resolution down just a little bit but we're gonna give you solid performance. And Microsoft really just said, hey, or the developers for the Xbox just said, brute force it, jack up the resolution, and go. And it didn't get, and then the frame rates would, wouldn't be as steady as the PlayStation. And we seen, we saw this, and the, and the delta between delta between PlayStation 4 Pro and the 1X is a lot, was a lot bigger than the delta that we have now with the PlayStation 5 and the Series X. Um, so, you know, now it should be even more... Um, you know, even more so that these, the, the thing is, is that we, when, oh my God, I'm so glad that it's over tomorrow, the, today, the specs are done, dude, it's done, the games are gonna do the talking, where are you, where are you, I can't believe I still haven't played this yet, enough from me, we're gonna have the games do our talking, oh yeah, hit that like button, share it out, let the games do the talking, finally, you know, the specs, the SSDs, the the, the architectures, the this, the that. The, it's done. See? Velocity architecture, smart delivery, Hovis method, vapor chamber, liquid cooling asses. It doesn't matter. Why is Devil May Cry 1 better? Done. And now people are like, well, it's just one game. You want to know what? Resolution Gate started with one game. Oh, well, that's just Xbox. Yeah, cool. it's just running that game in 900p and PlayStation is 1080p. That, that's all right. Like, you know, resolution, gate, you know, but Sony's going to have the advantage there. It started with one game. The thing is, is that Devil May Cry is starting this thing. They're, they're comparable. Sony's holding its own with Xbox. And like I said before, that's what happens when you're the lead console platform. Developers are going to develop for you first, and then they're going to try to figure it out with the other one. That is why mind share and sales mean a lot because it means where developers will focus all their time. They're limited resources as well. We got a hundred thousand dollar budget. What are we gonna do? Develop on this console first, and then we'll work on the Xbox. Or that could be a delay. That could be a timed exclusive because of that. But we'll do it here first, and then we'll put it on there. That's why. Sony coming out now with these games that we're going to see is making a statement. And they know if they continue to keep that lead and keep that differential away from Xbox, they got developers in their pockets that will then make the games for their system and Xbox will be the one where he said they have new APIs. I think you guys said it since they went cross-gen. I think Ravenflow said it. You know, they went, um, you know, multi-plat. They got different APIs, which is very interesting when I heard that because I'm like, you would look at Xbox Series X and see how similar it is to the other Xboxes and think like, you know, maybe, um, you know, why if, if the, the UIs, the controllers, your games go with you, like why are those developers dealing with different APIs than the Sony ones, which are more consistent, but Sony went with a new UI and a new controller and all this other stuff, but devs are finding it easier. Especially when we see all the people using the haptic feedbacks in the control already. Third parties are already using it. A lot of the other places. Like, it's not just Sony first party using it. Like, a Kinect feature. Like, oh, well, everybody's using Kinect. No. It, it, Sony has, like, their third party games. Fortnite using it. Call of Duty using it. So, they got everybody kind of announcing haptic feedbacks and stuff like that. They just put, And then they're putting it in their games as well. So, the thing is, is, like, when you look at it, that's where Sony coming in hot like this, like with, with games and stuff, is really going to carry it. Because Xbox is, 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 is fighting an uphill battle, whether it's the games and whether now it's the power. Like, the thing is, is like when I, when I tweeted this out, I really didn't want to take screenshots and stuff. Because you could take screenshots of either one, right? But the thing is, is like, everyone's like, well, different resolutions. And also, the thing is, is that if you are the most powerful console... If you are the most powerful, then there should be, without a doubt, this should not happen at all. That's why when you listen to it, you hear how surprised they are. Because they're like, on paper, this shouldn't happen. And the delta between the two of them should be higher, right? And the thing is, is that it's not. And the fact that it's not means there's a kink in the armor. 
That means the claim of the most powerful console is a self claim, not a community claim. It doesn't have, it's not like everybody's saying you are the most powerful. You're just making a self proclaim proclamation about yourself. We're the most powerful. Okay, on paper you are. But now let's see what the games have to say about it. Well, wait a second. Why is this weaker console holding its own? Like, even if you meet them, if you, even if Sony meets them in, in performance in these games, that's a that's a win for Sony because it is first off, you could get it for four hundred dollars if you could find the digital, which it's a hundred dollars less than the performance that you're getting. And you could say Devil May Cry five in a four hundred dollar machine is running games equal or better in some instances than your your machine and that's hard to say so they along with the game the lack of games the thing is is the power differential it, it's gonna come down to the games and there's so many friggin games that like i was mentioning before i i i can't wait to, to play them all and um you know and again enough from me we're gonna have the games do our talking and that's right man and exactly, Buddy Cactus says the thing. I can't believe we're getting Bud Snacks. Destruction All Stars with plus in less than half a year. But exactly, they got so many games that they're willing to. They they took some games and put them into friggin' PlayStation Plus, and saying that they're going to continue to give PlayStation Five games in PlayStation Plus. Like you can't. And and you know, just to mention the games coming, like that's the other thing. You say like, oh well, the launch lineups are kind of weak. Well, I I wouldn't. I would not say that. I think launching with Spider-Man is a friggin' huge. I think Spider-Man. That's right, Mr. Mind. That's my favorite. That's my favorite line. I got right here on the grinds board. Hit that button. And also, I got the opposite of that with Phil Spencer. When I think about Xbox, I'm going to think about quality games. We have work to do there. We haven't done our best work over the last few years with our first-party output. I'm, yeah, I've that's always that that's always been a hit on the company. Oh the yeah, company. oh yeah. So it's the total opposite. And it, and and that's his interview from last year. And then he has the gall to say today, like, oh, yeah, we didn't have to launch with a big game because people still want to play our console. Yeah. What about the next wave of people? You got the people that would have buy your console regardless because they love Phil. They love Phil Spencer jackets and they love Phil Spencer shirts and they think you're a nice guy. And, you know, they're Xbox fans forever and they got this library of games. Those people you'll sell this for, right? You want the whole sound bite? All right, I'll put a whole one. Means when I think about Xbox, I'm going to think about quality games. We have work to do there. We haven't done our best work over the last few years with our first party output. I'm, yeah, I've that's always that that's always been a hit on the company. On that, whenever I hear some criticism. Yeah, not I don't the, know if I'd say always. Like I think we've gone through times. Not to throw done mud it. on you, but but now you have to know that is that that's a fair. Yeah, I, I think it's something fair to say. It yeah. is. It is fair to say. And so what have they done since last? He's been saying we haven't had quality in the last few years. That was a year ago. Now they show Craig. And actually, I wanted to play another clip. Actually, a new one. I didn't put it on the grinds board yet. But um, let's see. Where is it here? It is the... Um, I thought this one was pretty telling, too. Hit that like button, everybody. Yeah, this one. Is this the one? Yeah. Oh, we got you, Phil. This. Is this it? I mean, you mentioned new opportunities before and uh, your first... Good opportunity. New Phil Spencer quote. Different genres. Wait, different... I gotta find it. How much I of a push it. for diversity is there in? No, it's right here. This. Um, for the people who had I think that Infinite's gonna shine. I, I really love the Halo franchise, and I've enjoyed aspects of it. But when I think about it, like my intense love of Halo and passion is still very much rooted in one, two, three, ODST and Reach, like that kind, of, those kind of games. So for me, it's starting to kind of feel like a make or break moment for the franchise. Do you think that's fair to say? Um, do you what what does what do you and what do three four three see as the stakes for Infinite? Well, it's interesting. Even going back, let me just going because I'm I'm right now playing through Reach on Legendary with a friend. We're playing through co-op. Um, and four of us just did this on with ODST. And, you know, I was here when Reach and ODST launched. And I think it's fair to say they were not universally embraced True. Uh, when they launched. Uh, people one. who had you mentioned them in the that. same breath with one, two, three, you instantly go to the best multiplayer in the franchise. They wanted the story Wait. and say there's some kind of make or break because I just don't mm -hmm. think entertainment works that way. Um, do I think 
Master Chief and the, the, the challenge that we put him in in the games has an enduring quality and something that will be around for decade plus, absolutely. Um, is it beholden on us to treat that franchise and the, and the stories and the characters right. the right way? Yes, and listen to our customers? Absolutely. But I, I think Halo is around for a long time. Um, kind of, you know, and, and Infinite will be a great beat in the, the Halo lore. I'd like to make a request on behalf of all Halo fans. Can we get a reversible cover for Halo Infinite when it comes out with Craig on the other side? Um, I know everyone loves Master Chief, <laughs> but I think the new era of Halo is tied up That's in great. Craig. We actually have these t-shirts. I didn't wear it today, which is Craig's face. This t-shirt. I love how they even embraced that. You know, it's just so, yeah. so fun. No, where's the party about, set about uh, Halo? Halo is there's been a level of staff turnover and changes at 343. Oh, yeah, here it the is. There, um, and is the, the, the turnover something that we should be worried about? Yeah, I think this has been this has been a long time. Yeah, this is project. the problem with Halo. And because hey, you're talking um, about long I think times, we've right? added people to the team when I think about Pierre and I think about Joe yeah. coming on to the team. Um, sometimes what hits the press or when certain things get announced internally have actually happened months before. So it's not always true. It's not always accurate yes, buddy. That when right. these things line up. We did take the feedback coming out yeah. of the July showcase event seriously, uh, both on the date and what people were expecting from the game. You know, it, it was a miss on our part, on my part to His open part. our July showcase with Halo Infinite and then a couple weeks later have to move the date. Like that, I don't take the sentiment and the emotion of our fans and our customers lightly. And when we get into a situation where we set an expectation that here, this is something you're gonna have at launch, and then we have to change that expectation not too you know, much after our, our, our showing, that's a mistake. And that's something that we, we really can't do. So. Um, I really have a lot of faith in Bonnie and the team there. Um, having Joe and Pierre join, which they did pretty early in the this or late in the summer, um, I feel good about where we are on that team. But as an industry, we're always going to see turnover, um, and I wouldn't think I don't have any specific concern about three four three. I actually think in the long run, turnover is a healthy people thing. Order on brunch. People who are really motivated uh, by the things that they're working on. I guess um, broadly looking at. But yeah, like the thing is, is like where we it was saying about it's the management, and you look at how Sony lined up its games that we're going to be playing tomorrow or today at launch day, and how they had the Spider Man lined up. They they got they they added, you know, um, they added all these things to Spider Man. They added they got the Demon Souls thing. They're working on that from their other games, and now they also they got the Ratchet and Clank. They got you know they got Returnal. They go G T um you know. GTA, uh, not GTA, but um, Gran Turismo 7, like all possibly lining up early next year. And then Horizon, they showed. They have confidence. They're showing these games, and you buy a console knowing, like, this is coming to the console. Xbox doesn't have that at launch, nor do they have that in the next few months and the next six months. Like, Halo doesn't have a date to it. You know, when the one came out, Xbox One came out, you had... Rise, Killer Instinct, all this stuff. And I spoke about this, you know, previously, about you had this launch lineup, and now 2013 was better than now. And But then you also had Titanfall in the spring. You're like, oh, shit, I got Titanfall too. And, like, if Halo was like, hey, we got Halo in February, you'd be like, okay, well, they got a little bit dry spell. They didn't launch right now. Halo got delayed to February or January or, you know, early next year. Then, okay, fine. And then, then, then we're okay. But, like, the fact is that it didn't. We have no date on it. And that's why with Sony has their lineup, dude, like we are they're 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 stacked. I, I can't believe how prepared. But the one thing I wanted to kind of correlate this to is that if you look that if you look at the two of them and you look at what he said about Halo, he took it on himself that you set expectations don't deliver and on launch. It's a management issue. And that's the issue. And Kenya, that's right. Kenya, Bridget of Spirits, Ratchet and Clank with the pot. I know. It's just insane. And like I stated before, the, the thing is, is that people will tell you that Microsoft really had to knock it out of the park. And they did the worst thing they could have done and launch without any games. First party games to demonstrate the power of that console. And then you have the multiplats. Well, it's about the better multiplats. Then you start looking at the multiplats. And then... You're like, well, they're not really showing the supreme superiority over the PlayStation 5. 
So what is it then? Is it it's not the games? It's not the superior. Uh, you know, are these multiplats really going to be a, a visual and performance difference over the competition? It's not. So then you got to think about like, what does it look like in six months? What does it look like? You know. And and you know it, it's a shame because you know as an Xbox fan that that it's a shame to see how I went to the 2013 launch and to see what they're delivering now. And another thing too is like not even Game Pass. Not and I thought yesterday like at the launch when I did the night before Xbox that they would have had some sort of like reveal, maybe a Halo multiplayer package video or something like that. And maybe they're saving it for the uh, the Game Awards, but like. It's really like you gotta, and and I don't, I know, I don't want to spoil people's getting the, um, getting the, uh, you know, the console. Like I don't want to spoil people doing that. But the thing is, is like, you know, once the honeymoon's over, the next couple of days, like now you're gonna be looking at it's like, whoa, you know, what's left? And then you just got all these other games coming on, and it's 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 pretty amazing how for a company that was quiet, was afraid of COVID, was afraid of the power, was afraid of the teraflops. Sony's quiet. Sony doesn't have anything to see where we are today and what you're going to play. It just shows that, you know, it was better managed and they did a great job in, in getting you hyped for this console that it's so friggin' hard to find, you know? And it's, uh, and man, it is going to be friggin' lit. That sh- that content button. Oh, there's even share factory. That one with 4k HDR, like, Dude, uploads, I don't know what that, yeah, I don't even know what Xbox has any more share videos. But you can share right to YouTube, you can do the share factory, they even updated that. So, um, you know, there's a lot of amazing things that, that they have added to the PlayStation with the UI. And I've been hearing, you know, in the reviews, like it said that the, the UI wasn't updated. And, uh, you know, uh, that it's just, it doesn't give you that kind of fresh coat of paint that, you know, and new features and stuff. Like they have the game, the game, uh that game thing, like, you know, the game flipping, but, uh, oh, Newegg just released a second batch. Fro- Frog is on silent, man. Frog was went after it. Sam Skull, oh, did I get into Sam Skull? Yes, I did. Hold on. Oh, locked up again. Let's see, Newegg. I think Frog is just, like, he's hunting. Yeah, and, and I know, like, you know, some people, like, it sucks. Like, Frog is a hardcore, like, he plays it. He wants that friggin' PlayStation. And, you know, because of the whole mess up and the way they've done this stupid, uh, these pre orders, like, it sucks. I'm checking Newegg now. Yeah, destruction. Oh, here it is. Out of stock, out of stock. You sure? CTR? Yeah, they, I guess it happened that fast. And they're doing the bundles, too. I don't see if those GameStop bundles are uh, canceled. Let me see. Tell you, I I know deals, man. That GameStop one, I know we don't like GameStop, but man, that bundle is uh, those bundles are not too bad, especially if you're at the, you know, you're like I, I want to, if you really want one that bad, and the bundles are sold out on GameStop. Told you, they, I did. They were good bundles, especially for the digital one. Let's see if the physical one's still there. Nope, that one's gone too. Man, we just saw this earlier. Yep. Remember this bundle? Well, I was just going over it. Hope Frog got one. If he was going to get one. But yeah, not available. It's sold out. Out of stock. That's how fast. I say if you want to get one, just buy it and figure it out later. Make sure the credit card works and figure it out later. But yeah, these two bundles are gone from GameStop. They were not bad. They were actually decent bundles. They usually they they'll bundle like some sort of like PlayStation pancakes, uh, pancake ma- waffle maker, some crap like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they actually got like decent accessories, third party accessories, things like that. So, um, so good luck to those who got that. Uh, let me uh, double check Target. Like, you know, let's see. And the, the only thing though, I was surprised that, like, you know, Sony really didn't do like a, a maybe they'll do it tomorrow for like a live stream or something like that. And, uh, you know, maybe they'll do something along those lines with, um, you know, some sort of launch day or things like that. You know, something with that. Let me see. Uh, what does Target look like here? Target, because Target actually changed the way they were uh, doing stuff. But let's see here. Target has PlayStation your way. 
check stores and it's still probably out of stock. They're probably going to refresh theirs tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. Still stuff. Best Buy still says coming soon. All right. Well, it is. Let's see. Yep. Oh, shit. Sorry. No bar, frog. No bar, frog. Yo, those GameStop bundles, man. They, uh, I know he's been getting rained on down there in Florida. Yo, those GameStop bundles, they, uh, they sold out. And they, uh, those ones. And then I think they said, uh, Newegg released a second one. Yo, what's up, Sam C? How you doing? You just shipped from Amazon Canada. Woo! Hit the horns, baby. Oh, yeah. Shipping, that's a shit. Sam Cook sold out. Damn. Damn, damn. I should have got the GameStop one. I, don't know. I know it's a lot. It, it, it's like $750. Like, if you don't want to spend $400 because you got all the other stuff, like, you know, $750. But I was like, that, that digital one GameStop wasn't too bad. But that one just sold. Um, but yes. Let Mortal Kombat begin. Oh, and you think, let me tell you something. You think the console wars are done? You think that the comparisons are over? Hit that button again. Let Mortal Kombat begin. It has just begun. See you, Bug. Good night. I'll see you on the other side. Frog says he might get one in December. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm going to keep looking. i keep looking for you. Ooh. One second. Ah. They keep ending inventory. A few minutes there. Yeah, keep checking. Keep checking, man. You still got tomorrow. Still got tomorrow. At uh, 12 o'clock on this. Oh, Crash Best Buy. Dude. The hype is... What the hell? Somebody got... Joel Garcia already got platinum in Playroom? God damn, Joel Garcia. Stop playing. <laughs> stop playing. Oh, man. I just wish I had a freaking midnight. Hit that like button, everybody. PlayStation launch day. Woo! But, yeah, I got my... Where's my thing? Yeah, I'll show you. But, yeah, I'm coming at the, the headsets. So, oops. This is goes my, my channel thing. But, man, we are... Here, I thought they would do, you know, I always miss those friggin' like launch lineup things and all that other stuff. Like, you know, just like the video packages. Like, I like the Xbox did do we some are. of that stuff with, uh, with, you know, with their launch day. And, uh, you know, they did the videos, even though they had the guy talking for about like, 20 minutes about Gears Tactics. Uh, dude, that game came out in April. But, uh, you know, it did launch. I haven't seen anybody, but, and that was the thing, you know, I didn't see too many people. Like, I, I'm gonna say, you know, be prepared today and tomorrow to see people sharing content, people streaming, people doing that stuff. Like, I really didn't see too many people on the other side doing that. Um, yeah, like, you know, I really, like, this excitement really wasn't too much. Like, it really, um, you know, I, I don't know if it's just because there was no new game to show. Um, and again, that's that. It, it's, and I'm going to keep emphasizing it because I'm telling you right now, when we're here six months from now, and going like, oh, you know, it's, it's, what happened? Like, well, what's going on? It's going to be like, well, it, it doesn't have any games. Nobody's playing any games for it. You know, you can play multiplats on it, but the multiplats are hit and miss. Some are better, some are worse, some are this. But I'm saying the thing is, it's like, I just can't believe how friggin' prepared PlayStation was. I thought they were going to be quiet. I thought they were just going to be, like, chill, coming to there, and just, like, you know, coming to this generation, just, like, resting on, hey, just can't, they just released, the la like, Last of Us 2, Ghost, there's some multiplayer, like, they still got the Last of Us 2 multiplayer to, to announce and see what the hell that is. It's crazy. Deathloop, they just announced, yeah, Deathloop just got a, a May release, which I'm, you know, that's a, another exclusive, which I'm surprised that got such a, um, a late release. I thought that was going to come early in the year, but so Deathloop went May, um, and that's going to be exclusive. I think they said Godfall, which is not getting too great reviews. Let me see if that is on Metacritic. I think it was like a 62 or something like that. Um, so I don't know about that one. I have it as my buy to get one free. Yeah, 61 it's sitting. i got to look at some of these reviews, but it's only five reviews, and... EGM gave it a 40. 
It's sluggish, uh, overall complicated. F yeah, so EGM dropped it pretty low. Digital Trends gave it a 5. Uh, the Gamer gave it a 5, a 50. And then uh, Games Radar got a 70. Yeah, this thing will probably fall like in the 60 high, maybe so. It depends. Only five reviews of it, so we'll see uh, what that is. Like, it definitely looks interesting. Um, it's also whether it's worth. I see somebody destructoid questioning the seventy dollar price tag on it. Um, it says here, Game Former says, in my time, I have enjoyed the. Um, the boss battles on loot, but have grown bored of the three open world environments, uh, which are small and don't hold much visual flavor. Everything looks the same, be it the architecture, rocks, plants, even the enemies. Godfall hits one note at the beginning of the game, and it holds it all the way through. It's not a bad note, but if not for the loot progression, I don't think I would play it for long. The story and world are both lifeless and don't hold much excitement at all. Yeah, so Godfall you know, seems to be a little bit of a, a struggle here. What is it looked pretty cool, but again, you know, it did look a little same. Like if those are all the environments, um, GameSpot says, uh, you know, uh, early signs are promising when it comes to combat. Mission design is uninspired thus far. Uh, whether combat has to carry the load, um, it still need to dig into the vapor plates. Yeah, you know, these service games, man. Join Godfall. It's not doing. IGN says not doing much to wow me. The repetition of his missions is wearing thin. So it seems like some of the. See, I always look for a common, like a common thing. Like you know, everybody's gonna say I like it, I don't like it. But you look, it's like what is the common thing? So they're talking about kind of the lackluster design. They're talking about the, the repetition and the and the missions and the other one said the environment. So now there might be some, you know, missions and repetition, and then uh. You know, it just seems like more of a just a grind, and it doesn't seem to, to be like that. So, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. I will maybe not run out and get seventy dollars for it. You know, due to Target, but it's actually on back order from Target. So who knows? Um, I might switch it out with something else, maybe Sackboy or something like that. But I just can't see paying like sixty dollars for Sackboy. I'm hoping that some of these you know launch titles do go on sale because you know everybody wants a front load their launch. Like they're gonna say, hey, I remember, man, what was it when Connect launched? There was a uh, Fighter Within was fifty dollars from Ubisoft. Remember that it was like the f street fighting game with uh, with Connect. Yeah, I know Avengers. Ah, and they even delayed that friggin' the guy and stuff like that. The the Hawkeye girl, whatever the hell she is. You know that thing's gonna jump up when Spider Man plays. People are gonna play the Spider Man part, and that's it. But like that Avengers thing, they the thing with the games as a service is you need to make it a friggin' service. You need to be adding content. Every couple of weeks, every month, like you got to be keeping on top of it. You can't just put a game out there with a grind and just be like, yeah, it's a game as a service. And it's like, where's the service? You know, that's, and I'm telling you, Mr. Modern, Mog, you're totally right. The problem with games as a service is that they want it to be a games as a service. But the thing is, is that you need to create the hook. You need to create, you need to be rolling that content out monthly. And a lot of them don't. They just say, hey, as a games as a service, we'll get back to you in a few months. You can't do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. There's too many Ain't games. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. There's too many games out there. You can't just say, hey, it is a service. Oh, no. J-Cat says, Smooth's Xbox just shut off in the middle of a game. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I, I'm, I, you know, these, these consoles coming in hot. Booster's coming in hot. Booster! Yes. We got plenty of Turbo Man's Titanfall Saber Tooth Tiger Booster. <laughs> I don't know. That's right, Mr. Mine. Maybe waiting is a good thing. Who knows? I'm knocking on wood. My PlayStation don't sound like a friggin'. I don't turn it on and go, hey, let's put in my new disc in. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's my disc drive. Oh, no. Please, knock on wood. Please. Don't get 
diplomatic now, all right? All right, I won't. I won't, Tony. Tony, I won't get. I won't get upset. I won't get. I won't get up there. You know. And that's it. I don't want to hear nothing else. All right, Tony. All right, Tone. All right, Tone. I'm not gonna get too crazy. I did go through the Red Ring of Death right before uh, Elder, right before uh, Oblivion came out. Uh, I had to send my Xbox away. That's why I'm getting two PlayStations. Backup plan. And that's what's great. You know, you can play Miles Morales. And actually, Mog, it looked really good on the PlayStation 4. Like, it looked good. It looks great on the PlayStation 4. And I think that's another reason why they made it a cross-gen game. Because you got you got over 100 million consoles there. You're going to have to pay, you know, you're going to have to pay the piper. Like, you know, you're going to have to balance out. There'll be some cro- and I saw people going crazy with the 3 years supporting cross gen. That doesn't mean that every Sony first party game is going to be cross gen. You know? That's not the thing. And I said this on uh on Salty's podcast. Sony has variation. They got games going into PlayStation Plus, like Bug Snacks and Destruction All Stars. They got games going into a sixty dollar, sixty nine ninety nine dollar game. They got remasters. They got kids games for sixty dollars. They got they got games in Game Pass and, and their their PlayStation Now. They got VR games that are that are that are supported. They got backwards compatibility. Sony. They got games on PC. Sony is going to put their games where they think they will do the best. They're not committing their whole first party lineup to a service to on PC every day. They won all platforms, Xbox One for the next two years, everything, everything, everywhere. Android versions, you know, touch controls on our on our games for Android. No. They're gonna specifically target. What needs to work? Spider-Man, cross-gen, fine. That's it. Look at the way it looks. It looks great on there. You're not <laughs> shooting play on there. And you tra- save transfers over. Plus, people made such a fuss about the uh, the Spider-Man. Even that transfers over to the special edition. So, what's up, CT? Yes, yeah, CTR. So, what I'm getting right now is... So, what I'm going to get is tomorrow I'm going to... The console's coming... I got the accessories, which I already opened up. So I got the, um, so I got the, uh, I got the Optic Seven P headset. I got the camera. I got the con- extra control. I'm getting the the other headphones, the Pulse, and then I'm gonna go Spider Man. But I'm getting that digitally, um, the Ultimate Edition. Now, see, the thing was, I was just gonna get Miles, but then when I saw the Spider Man again, again. I got. I'm gonna. You're gonna spam this button. I'm gonna spam it. Enough from me. We're gonna have the games do our talk. When I saw the friggin' Spider-Man remastered, I'm like, I don't pay twenty. When I saw it, I'm like, oh shit, that looks good. I'm like, I'm gonna play Spider-Man again and beat it because you know, going. Th- it looks like a different game. They added. They added all the geometry. They added the the, the lighting. The, the game looks friggin' incredible. I'm like, just to play the both of them together again. I'm, I'm doing Spider-Man Ultimate Edition. And the new costumes too, the new things. Um, probably gonna try the, um, you know, definitely gonna do, um, you know, the the Astro Bot. But I'm gonna be buying. I have Godfall that I'm not. I'm probably gonna get is back ordered right now. I did the two for one, Call of Duty, which is coming on Friday. Then uh, Cyberpunk pre ordered, and then I'm getting. I'm probably gonna get Demon Souls. Gonna get Sackboy. I'm gonna get Demon Souls also, but Sackboy I'm gonna get probably in the next you know next month or so because I want to have that for Christmas. And then uh, let me see, try a Bug Snacks. That's in the thing. I'm gonna play everything. And then there might be some games that I'm gonna get, but I'm buying all the exclusives. I'm buying everything. I'm eventually gonna have everything, all the games. Godfall, we'll see. You know, it's to buy two get one for free. So I you know I got it for free because um, I got Cyberpunk and Call of Duty, but um. But yeah, definitely. I'm. I'm. In pre- I'm pretty much gonna get them all because I want to have the capabilities of the machine. Uh, you know, I'm gonna get Ratchet and Clank when it comes. I can buy all the games. I buy everything. So, um, you know. But the first game I'm looking forward to play is Spider Man. That is gonna demonstrate that. But Astro Bot's probably be the first thing that I'm ever gonna touch, just to get a feel for that control and what its capabilities are. 
then I'll probably go into Spider-Man and start doing my screenshots and doing all that other stuff. Plus, after I get all the new stuff, the new... Exactly what Buck says. If I get all the new stuff, I got to go back and finish beating Ghost of Tsushima at 60 frames. I want to go play Last of Us 2 again with the new haptic feedback in it. See, it's not just like a, a resolution bump. It's not just a frame rate bump. The fact that they're adding... The, the, the feel to the controller, it might change like when you're going through the water or you going through the woods or you do those those executions. or Just imagine how that might translate when you're playing Last of Us 2. It's such a, a realistic, gritty-looking game. And then you got this this controller that's making you feel like this stuff. Like, I can't... And then the 3D audio on top of that. Uh, dude, like that's gonna they're, they're talking about like you want to go play old games. Like those games are games that you want to go back to because they're incredible. Just when they were out, they're not games that were passion projects and all other stuff. And it's like, hey, I'm not gonna go back and play these games. Those are game of the war contenders. God of War, same thing. Like definitely gonna try those out. And, and if they really do change the difference, I'm gonna play it again or get the finished game. Those platinums. Like I'm not a platinum hunter. I'm not a trophy or achievement hunter. I just play everything. That's why I like to have all my games, and I just play what I want to play. So, like, you know, I might go back and, and do that stuff and, and go get the trophies or play it through again. But, um, yeah, like, I, 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 it's just so much to play. I just got to find the time to do it. And, uh, you know, and that's the thing. Like, and then just, um, and yeah, it is, it is just, it's such a good feeling when you're investing in a product and you know it's a roadmap, you know what there's things that you're excited for. Now, granted, who wants to play Sackboy? Oh, uh, what's that boy? Uh, I don't like those Sackboys. They're fine. Do you like Spider Man? No, I hate Spider Man. You like you like Luda shooters? Oh, you like Luda Melee? Oh, yeah, maybe I like Golf. Like, the thing is, is that's when you have a lineup where it hits every beat. Like, you might not like everything. You might, I don't, I'm not a Souls fan at all, but I saw the way that looked and I might, given the way that game looks and looks like it plays, like I might want to try out a Souls game, you know, like that. Because I think if if I would have played a Souls game looking rough and, oh, that's the charm and all that other stuff, then maybe I would drop it soon. But if it's really engaging and it looks that great and the sound and, and the controller and, and all that stuff's bringing you into the game... I might want to keep pursuing it more. And that's why people go like, oh, you're just going to play it because it looks the way it does? It's it's part of it. If it's appealing looking and you want to see the stuff, like, I might want to explore it. Plus, it's a next-gen game. And, you know, you know what happens. <laughs> Who's this Ardana? That's funny. Uh, but, like, yeah, like, basically, you look at the stuff and... You, you might want to, uh, like, you know, when you... And this happens at launch time all the time. You have a game that kind of standing out. And shout out to over 44 people watching. Hit that like button. Or the dislike button. That's probably Ardania did. Uh, whatever it is. And thank you, J-Cat, for, for, for taking care of that person. Let's uh, get J-Cat the... Uh... That's right. You take care of that. Well, spam it. You got him. You got him. Those dollar bill gaming people. Get him out of my grind's house. Get it out! No dollar bill game in here, baby. Take that over to Dollar Bill Phil's house. Go to Dollar Bill Phil's house. Damn it. No Game Pass hype over here. God damn it, Dollar Bill Phil. About happy games he didn't ship you. You don't need any games. Dollar Bill Phil told you. You know, talking about Dollar Bill Phil... I was thinking, like, you know, the thing is, is, like, I do think that I did like the night before, the, the Tis was the night before Xbox. And I was thinking about another one. Another little tale. I would like to do The Christmas Carol with Ebenezer Spencer. You know? That, it, it kind of fits. It fits. Just think about it. A town that loves gaming call PlayStation Town or call Gaming Town. And you got a, just a a, a mean, a, 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 a person that just this, like, ah, 
I want to play games. No games. We don't need games. Bah humbug. But sir, the games are fun. They're for kids. Like, everybody should have fun playing games. Bah humbug. No, I don't like games. I don't like games. You know? And then you have like, you know, Craig working in the office or something like that. Just like, Craig, how, how's, our, how's our budget looking? Well, we're making money, Phil. Ebenezer Phil. You know, Ebenezer Spencer. We're making money. <laughs> like, Craig. That's great. More money. More money. But you know, it, it would be nice once in a while, you know, that I could go home and play some games with my with my family. Pritchett! No games. You don't need games. Bah! Bah humbug, no games. <laughs> and then he gets visited by three ghosts. It's like, Phil, you'll be get visited by three ghosts. <laughs> It'd be like, it'll be like Ed Freeze, like, it'll be like Seamus Blackley. Phil, it was all about the games. Halo was the games. Ghost of Chris, uh, Ghost of uh, Phil Ness past. It's about the games, Phil. Seamus, but we built Xbox to beat PlayStation because of games. <laughs> Xbox Future, it, it, he gets visited by Xbox Future, and it's like, uh, Xbox is not an app, and it's not in the cloud, it's like dead, and he's like, no, like, I wish I had a graphic and could make the video of this thing, because I just have this thing, he visited by Booty Craig and Major, no, and then he gets, uh, yeah, and then the Ghost of Christmas present, like, and then he realizes at the end, he's like, we need games, we need games for everybody, like, it, it writes itself, like I said, like, this stuff writes itself, like, it is totally out there it's crazy but i think i've never seen a launch a launch without a console without console exclusives ever i can't imagine one do you know anyone the only one i can think of is the x and that was a mid-gen refresh and even that had lucky's tails god damn it holy shit i'd buy that for a dollar you know no nightmare difficulty yeah i got this for you i play games on normal Yo, what's up, Reese? How you doing? Yeah, I play games on normal. I, Nightmare, I don't... Uh, the, the super hard games and all that stuff, I, I get I get easily... Because uh, I said I play a lot of games, so I get easily kind of... You know, if something's just hard for the hell of it, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, it was a mid-gen refresh, and then this is a next-gen refresh. Who the hell knows? But the thing is, is like, I've never seen anything in my life without, without a launch lineup at all, you know? what this was it, it's insane and then phil going around saying like uh, out with him dollar bill phil we're really focusing first on oh. what it means to play these games on your phone so we thought about how can we get as many people playing on a phone as possible one of the things i really <laughs> i really love about being here is the families that are here and we see parents with the family <laughs> Years. This is the thing. Why? Why I talk about it, right? Like, why? Why does it grind my gears, right? Because it's all. You follow Twitter. You're on the gaming websites. It, it's all. And thank you, Reese. Hit that like button. The thing is, like, it's. This is the shit we've been listening to for friggin' two years. Like, him saying that. Him saying, you know, uh, you know, doing his thing about games on his phones. Like, just saying just this stuff. And it's like, for all this talk, to look at what has happened this week and what was ready, I just, like, you would think that it would be opposite. The one who was quiet was the one who didn't have anything. But the one who just constantly talk it's about games on phones, it's about, think about improving our quality. And it just is like, uh, it's so ridiculous how all that talk, just like in my tale, didn't amount to shit. It amounted to him saying some more stupid stuff like, you don't need, I didn't need a launch game, a banger. What's up, bit? How you doing? 
all my accessories. Not I got I got my extra controller, my camera, my headset's coming tomorrow. You were right. That Amazon shipped it all. Uh, headset's coming tomorrow. And I also got a charging dock thing from GameStop. That's been delayed to December. But I get another controller. I don't know why I ordered another controller from GameStop. But I got one from them. So I didn't get my uh, headset yet. I'm looking forward to getting the, plat the Pulse 3D and comparing it to the um, the Octus 7P. Uh, which I've been liking a lot. Yes, the PlayStation 4 headsets do work on the PlayStation 5 with the USB um, the ones that will not work are the ones that use the, um, a fiber optic only because there is no fiber optic cables in there. However, you could do, um, you could do the, uh, you know, you could do basically, uh, the ones through USB. Now, apparently you could use any headphones with the 3D, but, um, yeah, it is, uh, you can do, um, you can do the USBs. They do work. Um, and because uh, I know I do have a couple that uh, that will work with it with the USBs, and I don't know if the 3D will work with it, but um, but yeah, the 3D should work. They said with any of them with the headset plugged into the controller or with the USB, but definitely 3D audio. I will be talking about that. And shout out to Big Cloud. Here you go. Turbo Man. It's Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Turbo Man. He's coming. It's Turbo Man's Turbo here, God. baby. Turbo Guy. Turbo Man. The Turbo Man doll. Turbo Man doll. It's Turbo Time. Turbo Man. Yeah, Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's Turbo Time. Turbo Man's. Turbo Man. Some fruity robot named Turtle Man. It's Turbo, Turbo Man. Man. Turbo Man. Turbo Man dolls. Turbo Man dolls. These, these guys are looking for a uh, Turbo Man. A Turbo Man doll. <laughs> Turbo Man. Turbo Man. <laughs> He's here. Turbo Man. 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 Turbo Man doll. Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Turbo Man doll. Turbo Man. 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 I got a Turbo Man doll turbo here. Man. Turbo 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 Man. It's Turbo Man. 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 It's Turbo Man. The whole movie Turbo Man. This is PlayStation One. <laughs> oh, Turbo Man is here, baby. Booster. Put that cookie down now. Booster. Nobody wants Booster. Booster. We don't want Booster. We know what it is. We know what it is, everybody. We know what it is. We got it right here. We got it right here. The rumors are true. We have received a small quantity of the action figure known as Turbo Man. Yeah! I am not going to ask you people to be quiet again. Do you hear me? If you're not one of the lucky few, we have plenty of Turbo Man's faithful pet tiger booster in stock. We don't want it! We don't want it! Nobody likes you, Booster. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Turbo Man, hit the like button for Turbo Man. He's here. Trying to go into stores and go get Turbo Man. Nobody likes you, Booster. And then everybody buying their Series X's with no games. Phil Spencer's like this. And I don't forget. You're my number one customer. <laughs> what? Phil, excuse me? What, Phil? What? And I don't forget, you're my number one customer. Well, are you talking to the PC guys or the console guys? <laughs> yes, I'm trying to find a Turbo Man doll. Me too, me too. Tomorrow. Me too, Today. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what did I say? These, these guys are looking for a uh, turbo man? A gentleman <laughs> dog, yes. <laughs> Selling Christmas toy ever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We got plenty of Turbo Man's faithful saber tooth tiger booster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We're really focusing first on what it means to play these games on your phone. So we thought about how can we get as many people playing on a phone as possible. And I don't forget, you're my number one customer. <laughs> remix, remix, new shit, new shit. <laughs> oh, the grinds board's hot. It's PlayStation Eve. It's PlayStation launch day. It is here. Now, whatever your name is, get ready for the big surprise. Yes, Series S is booster. It's Series B. Series booster. I don't want the booster. I want Turbo Man. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. That's all right. And there you go. Mr. Martin says it right there. The games. Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo, Returnal, Kenna. Deathloop, Horizon 2, Final Fantasy 16, God of War 2. Oh, God. It's crazy. That is crazy. That's a roadmap. That's what you know is going to come to that console. And you've seen gameplay. You've seen these games. You played God of War 1 to know God of War 2 is going to be a banger. You know you've done this. See, that's the thing, too. Like, you know, you look at some of those other trailers for some of those games that Microsoft has shown. And you're like, I, I, dude. What is that game going to be? And what's it going to look like in Game Pass? We don't know. But the fact is, you played God of War. So, like, God of War 2 is going to be it. You saw Horizon. You kind of know what you're going to get. You already played the game, and now it's just something better. Same thing with Miles Morales. You knew the quality of Spider-Man. Now you know you're going to get the quality of Miles Morales. So, like, you build that legacy. You build that anticipation, that expectation. When Last of Us 2 dropped, people knew the quality of Naughty Dog, what they do. So when they drop that second game, you know what level of interaction you're going to get. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. That's why there's a lot of work to do on that other side. And I don't know if saying not having a big game at launch is... You don't need it because we sold enough consoles. Thanks. And I don't forget, you're my number one customer. Until you are. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Final Fantasy 16, they said next year. But who knows? Ghostwire Tokyo. Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2. I don't know when that's coming out. And The Last of Us 2 Multiplayer Factions. And who the hell knows what else they're working on? Who knows? Yo, what's what's... What's uh, Naughty Dog's other team? The team that made Uncharted. What are they working on? What's on? What's 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 Naughty Dog working on next? Like, what are, what are their other studios working on? You know, the the Days Gone. They're making Days Gone too. You know, well, co-op. Who knows? Like, this is this is the excitement that you get when you have the experiences that you did, and that's why the PlayStation Four generation just built upon what PlayStation Five is gonna be. You know, and that's why when you look back at backwards compatibility, when you look at sequels, the thing is, is that you already built a great legacy expectation and a fan base based off of the quality and gameplay of the first game. You're going to carry that into next generation. That's why when you look at Xbox relying on backwards compatibility and not really having, you know, a great gen, just like Phil said, you know, our quality hasn't been good. That just doesn't hurt this generation. It's not an erasure. It, we're not erased, you know? It's not a race like that. Now that what you like, this was the worst gen to lose. And I think a lot of people have said that, like, because your games come with you. And if you didn't spend the time making those kind of games and, and making sequels, like, are people going to run out for Crackdown 4 if they ever make that game? No, you really didn't do such a good job of Crackdown 3. Like, you know, are people going to run out of Recore 2 after Definitive Edition? Like, no, like you really didn't hit it there. Like Sunset 2, but you don't have that. Rise 2, maybe. But the thing is, is, like you really never built 
anything really worth a damn to say we're going to make a sequel. Nor did you make a sequel better to kind of build it. Like, you know, like, like what could they do with Uncharted? Uncharted 1, it did what it did, but then they made Uncharted 2, and that gave it the legacy standard that say, hey, let's make more of them. You know? And it's really... It had a little devil inside looks good, too. That looked pretty good, too. Um, but, yeah, it's really... That's what I mean. Like, you know, the, the, the fact that they built this legacy in this generation, it carries with you. It's like the sins of the father. Like, you know, basically, you know, you didn't have such a quality generation. That is going to be a, a dark horse as you move on to next generation. There's a big question mark. There's a question about quality of your games. A lot of your games were really passion projects and really didn't hit except for Gears and Forza, as as expected. But even Gears was kind of on the low end. Like, you know, Gears hitting 85 and stuff, that's nice. But now, guess what? What does Gears look like without a Rog Ferguson there? Who knows? What does Halo look like? We see without Bungie, do we see what Halo looks like? Halo looks better with 4 and 5. I don't know what the hell they're thinking with Infinite. But now if Halo Infinite shows up and it looks marginally better and they fixed up Craig, they put a lipstick on a pig, you know, there's going to be say, hey, you delayed this game. Why does it look similar to what we've shown? You know Digital Foundry friends are going to go running right back to that video of that in reveal and showing what's different. And if the game looks similar... They're going to be like, what the hell did you delay this game for? And it's it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know, you couldn't release it like that, but, but they, you know, what are you going to do? But the thing is, is that you showed it in that state, and the management's an issue. But while Sony built upon their legacy, now they carried on to next generation. The expectations are high. It was high going into the PlayStation 5, and, you know, when they showed that PlayStation 5, those 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 expectations were exceeded. People were wow. It's not just a box. It's this this tower. This the 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 panels come off. Customizing panels and and wait the control. Wait, you didn't just stop. Like I remember when I first saw that control on April seventh, and I was like, whoa, what the hell? Like that that's fake, right? And like I'm like, look at this controller, and I'm like, holy crap, they are really going dynamic. Like really interesting dynamically with this design and they're taking risks which you know the incumbent is always the kind of the person that the 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 one that's like not taking the risk they're the kind of the status quo like you know let's not break what's not broken like let's not fix what's not broken right and sony's like no we're breaking it we're gonna keep some legacies up but we're breaking the mold We're, we're showing a new generation which i i i i commend sony for like for stepping outside the box and making a console that looks like that, a, a change in the UI, like they had a hundred and twelve million sold consoles, they could have rode the wave. They could have rode the wave of the PlayStation Four, kind of did uh, as an upgrade to the PlayStation Five. They didn't have to make it the way it was. Like Sony didn't need to it had a hundred they have such a huge install base they could have rode the wave and their install base is so much bigger than their competition almost double triple they they didn't have to instead they kept their foot on the neck they signed exclusive deals they had this first party pump out games they had the different design ui adding features to the system with that people asked for like wish lists and 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 you're know, able to to uh you know and, and adding things that we didn't even know we wanted which is great you know the activities and the ability to jump around games the snap the the overlay the the whole the way the UI is the way the way that you could follow developers you could you could get updates the activities the the bot changes with news as you're playing the game as you're doing stuff like it's real and then the, and then on top of that to, ch- to evolve the controller with the resistive triggers like force feedback and the haptic feedback and the microphone in the control with the speaker. I think that's going to be revolutionary. I think people are going to be like, like thinking about, I don't need to wear this big ass headset to look for my headset to do a chat. You don't. That microphone sounds pretty damn clear. We're going to see how it works. But like, you know, it just, and then the CTR says they got second teams of Mon- Santa Monica, Gorilla Games, 2 1 and I know that that's the games we don't know about. I'm so happy about the games I didn't show you yet. And Final Fantasy VII Remake is awesome, Mr. Mod, and definitely. I am going to finish that game, too. And Little Devil Inside is awesome. And, you know, the thing is, is, like, it really... 
it, it really is an exciting time. And, you know, it would have been even better if both of them were kind of were like f on, on that trading blows. Then, you know, you have them both set up right next to each other doing that. But one just seems to be going in a in another direction. And I don't like that direction. And that's why I always bring it up because I, I spent a lot of my like a uh, whole generation of Xbox, Xbox 360 and the Xbox one until like 2016, 2017, where I'm like, I had enough of this. I'm waiting. What's going on? Shit's going on. You're canceling. Like you're, you're taking away features. Like, you, like where are the games? Like you had Halo and, 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 uh, you know, and gears ultimate and tomb Raider. And then all of a sudden you're not doing deals anymore. Now you're worried about putting games on PC. Well, I'm going to get a PC now. And now you're going to charge $400 for a console with no new games. And, and and Crackdown looks the way it does. The quality started taking a downturn with State of Decay and all that stuff. And I just stuck around for Gears and stuff. And then everything goes into service and Game Pass. I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? And it's still, I'm like, what's happening? And it bothers me. It sucks. I don't want subscription games. I don't want everything to be a service game. I want balance. I want choice. I want options. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to damn that bullshit because I don't want that shit to be successful because I don't want that shit creeping up on the, the shit that's working. You know, and that's the thing. Like, if Nintendo and Sony were failing and console gaming was at an all-time low, I'll say, you know what, throw in the towel. All right, maybe this whole app future on a phone streaming. But don't. No. Look at Stadia. How's it doing? X Cloud since September. How's it doing? You know what I saw online waiting to pick up an Xbox? When I saw those people online waiting for Xboxes in front of GameStop, you know what I didn't see? Grinders, you know what I didn't see? I didn't see cell phones. I didn't see controllers. And I didn't see strap ons. I didn't see people playing. Look at everybody online waiting for an Xbox using xCloud and streaming. Nobody's doing that shit. Come on. xCloud was talking. We're Don't really be focusing first on what it means to play these games Waste on your phone. Some of the bitch said that after E3. Target, go. Said that after E3, dude. After E3, after he said, I'm happy about the games I didn't show you. Son of a bitch is talking about phones. Son of a bitch is talking about phones. Frogs, where are you? Target, go, go, go. They got him in stock. Frogs. In stock in my area. I don't know where you live. Frogs. Go to Target. Wherever you are. Frogs. With frogs. Hold on. Thank you. I'm calling them up now. Calling them up now. I'm calling frogs up live. Frogs on the air. Frogs on the air. Frogs. Target, target, go, 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 go. Okay, let me check it. Yo, man, I got you live. We're still live. Yo, go to target. I'm in target right now, and they got him in my area. And you could just pick him up right there. So go to target. I don't see the digital, but I see the physicals. Uh, let me let me check it out. You're, you're live. Oh. Broadcasting. You're broadcasting. Frog, target, go, go, go. Ouch! I hit the freaking microphone. Add the cart. Go! It's there. Pick up. Pick up. You can pick it up. I see all the ones lighting up. Who's the grinder of the day, baby? Who's the grinder of the day who shared that? Go, go, frog. I'm, I'm checking out. Right Febreze, now. baby. Febreze. Yeah. Oh! Go! This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Yeah, Scrap this on your sore ass. Brain. Oh, man. <laughs>
Rog, just confirm to all the grinders on live. We got over 35 watching. Do it. They hear you buying it Do over it. my phone. Come on, come on. Kill me, I'm here, kill me! I'm here, kill me! Uh, well, come on. Pick up. Do it. Do it! So I have it in my car. Come on. It should be able to do it, Frog. Oh, man, come on, target. Keep going. I, I see him like they, uh, like, yo, man, this is actually a good time because it's freaking, it's late. People probably went to sleep. Yeah, I see the, the digital one I'm looking. Digital one don't don't have it. Uh, but, yeah, yeah I got this physical one. Yeah, I was going to type in the zip code to see where you were, but I don't know where you live. But I was just like, uh, uh, but, yeah, but I was just doing. Uh, it, it did add it to the card, and I, I could check out, and it says pick up. I'm trying to check out. Just keep hitting it. Don't give up. Never give up. Oh, where is it? I have it. I have it. Where is it? Never give up. Never surrender. Where is it? I do have it. That's right. Never give up. Never surrender. Jesus, just hit go. Worry about it later. <laughs> never give up. Never surrender. Oh, yeah, well, just keep hitting it, man. Never give up. It's in your, it's in your thing. I'm looking now, mine. Dude, I to to no, I, I, I don't give a shit. I'm calling frog. I'm like, I, I, somebody's came in the chat. They're like, target, go, and I'm like, I gotta call frogs. <laughs> like, oh, I gotta call him up, get him on there. Everybody in the chat's like, go, keep hitting it. <laughs> Hopefully, you get it, man. Well, I think target. Anybody else know any other websites? Is Walmart open? Oh, Walmart. Target's the main one. Yeah, Sam's Club sold out. They had like, I just saw each of them had like 10. I saw one that said nine left, and then it said go, go, go. So it said like, they they, they all lit up in stock. I keep saying an unexpected error occurred. Come on, baby. Hmm. Is it still in your cart? Uh, it's still in the Give me a uh, prick. No! <laughs> Jesus. It got to the cart. It's a friggin' tease. Let's see Best that Buy. Sucks, yeah. Jesus. To Go to sleep, people. Oh, man, it sucks. I'm checking Best Buy. Ah, Best Buy still says coming soon. Best Buy's been crap. I tell you one thing. Best Buy's been, I, Best Buy's been saying coming soon since the launch. I never seen a yellow button on Best Buy the, the whole time. Damn it. No, Best Buy, I've never seen I lost it too. I had one in the car because I was going to get it and just mail it to you. But I, 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 I lost it too as I was calling you. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm checking all the stores. All my stores are out of stock in my area. Dude. Up to 50 miles. Yeah, just like that. It sold out quick. Jeez. And there was like 10 and 50. There were like 10 at my store. I saw like each of them at 10. I had 30 at my store. Wow. Yep, all sold out. Holy crap. Jesus. Yo. Of course, my Sam's Club sold out quick. Yep, Sam's Club, the, the, the thing crashed. Oh, you could try. Oh, man. That sucks. Well, thank you, though, with the, the chat guy. Thank you, uh. Oh, Ravenflow says he heard Best Buy and GameStop were getting items yesterday from a friend. So he said that he heard that too. Now I know I the ones. Gonna, I, yeah. I think you're gonna be able to get them, uh, but not launch day. Yeah. Well, you said you had a plan anyway. You're gonna try to roll around and see if you get any. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna roll up to the, the post to see if I can get one. All right. Well, you get to bed, Frog. Anything, I'll text right, you man. if I'm up. I'm gonna be heading to bed too soon. <laughs> All right, I'm
<laughs> All right, no problem, Bob. Talk to you later. Oh, man. Hey, thank you for that, man. It was so close. Got in the shopping cart, man. Oh, man. Oh, that was so freaking close. Thank you. What was that? That's Febreze, man. Awesome. Well, thank you for that, man. It was close. I had it in my cart. I saw them all light up, and they all just went away. Damn, damn, damn. Well, with that, it's turbo time. And I have to say is, uh, and thank you. Yeah, thank yeah I know. It su Yo, it's freaking fast, man. It was so close. He had it, and he was just checking out. You know what sucked is, like, and you do it, and it's like, oh, type in your credit card. And you're like, no, I got to type my credit card in. Oh, man, I run the Best Buy one. I got a, I know when I did the Target one, just the last final thing, like, you know, when I did my Target one, hit that like button, guys, as we're wrapping this up, please. Hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Welcome to any new subscribers. But yeah, like, when I did the Target one, it was like, my credit card was like, who this? <laughs> you know, I was like, hey, you, why just buy, like, why would you do that to my credit card? And it's like, her card's like, who this? So I got to like, uh, I had, like, ex had to say, like, okay, I approved this purchase and stuff. And then it says, like, oh, my God, now if they charge me, if my credit card blocks it again, I'm going to lose the pre-order. It happened before at Best Buy uh, using one of the cards. And uh, I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to lose my pre-order with this thing. It actually happened with the Switch. And uh, and I was able to kind of rectify that, just saying, well, I'm going to rebuy it and stuff like that because it canceled the pre-order. And then I had to redo it. But, um, yeah, I was like, credit card, I'm like, don't do this now. And, uh, yeah, and luckily it went through because I thought I was going to have to deal with it with Target because their first look at the credit card didn't go through. But, um, yo, I was going to say, everybody, PlayStation 5 day, get ready. You're going to be seeing the Grinds My Gears PlayStation 5 Fiesta because it is going to be about the goddamn games. And it's going to make the other side don't look too hot. And that Xbox is on friggin' Amazon uh, Amazon Purgatory, my Series X. Because I grabbed one on Amazon just in case Phil decided to announce some games. Like, if he would have said, like, to, like the night before launch, like, hey, Halo multiplayer coming out, I would be like, oh, maybe I'll get it on a console because I want to play it on my other thing. Like, I don't want to always play on the computer here. Like, I definitely want to play on a, on a, on a TV because I primarily play console. So, like, you know, if there was, like, oh, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll just get for Halo and, and you know, and, and you know, see how it goes and stuff like that. But I, no surprises, dude. I'm like, you really are going to launch this with nothing? And they did. And I'm like, and then Amazon's like, the Series X is in, the, in purgatory till December 31st. And I'm like, well, I might have to cancel that thing. And uh, because I'm not going to, uh, there's no, there's... And that's it. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't play this game. You know? That's right. It's it's launch day. But like, you know, it's just like... Not playing to win is like sleeping with your sister. Sure, she's a great piece of tail with a blouse full of goodies, but it's just illegal. <laughs> don't play to win. How do you not play to win? How do you release without games, dude? I have no clue. But... Yeah, they really seriously, they were, I'm like, they really do. You know, it's funny, I go back to that guy, it's like, I couldn't believe it. They're really doing it. And I'm like, that's what I sat there, I looked at I'm like, I can't believe it. They're really releasing this without, what, really? They're really going to do this with, like, Celeste and Game Pass and just, like, so a bunch of indie games and Game Pass and no big game? Like, wow, they're really doing this. And it's like, wow. I held on to it just in case they, they started, started dropping maybe some games. Like, when they had an event, I was like, oh, maybe they'll announce some games coming out. Nope, they didn't. They really did it. They really launched this thing. And then he says, we don't need games. Like, you know, we don't need a big game. The console's selling fine. And this is the thing. This is the thing that grinds my gears. It's like, oh, the console's doing great. We're selling great. Oh, we made profit. We're doing great. But you've been doing great without making true quality content for gamers so what incentive do you have to make quality games for gamers if you're doing great you're selling the most xboxes you ever sold without games you just you're doing amazing in game pass you're making tons of money for the company cheap ass gaming like you basically just went cheap to make sure that you make a profit on your end you're doing great and guess who's suffering? The gamers. 
They're sitting there playing third-party games and games not optimized for their system. No games showing off the, 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 the features of the system. Nah, you don't need any big bangers from us. Eh, you go enjoy those multi-plats. We'll sit here and just rake in the money like goddamn Steam they think they are. Ah, dude, it's a slap in the face when your competition is doing the exact opposite. And yeah, there's competition everywhere. Go buy some headphones. It's not about console wars. Headphone wars, you think? Go go, go look at headphones. What are you going to see? Bose versus Sony. Sony versus Bose. Uh, Beats versus Bose. Beats versus Sony. Sony versus Beats. Skullcandy versus Beats. Who's the best headset for a budget? Who's the best headset for... ANC. Who's the be- best headset for bass? Who's the best headset for this? Skull Candy versus ba- Beats. What's the best value? What's this? Oh no. What camera am I going to buy? Well, do you want to buy a Micro Four Thirds camera? Do you want to do an APC? Micro Four Thirds is smaller, but not as good as AP- APS-C. Oh, but uh, but then you got full frame. Full frame is better than this. Canon versus Nikon. Oh my god, but it's, it's just about a camera. It's about the pictures you take. Oh no, but which one's better? Do I have a whole Canon set? Canon, I love the colors and I love the contrast. Nikon, oh wow, I do love their feature set. Their menus do have better than Canon. But also Nikon does 4K, but Canon does do 4K. But then they've got Panasonic and, and, and uh, Olympus and Micro Four Thirds. It's versus everywhere. Samsung versus Apple. Android versus iPhone. Android versus Apple. LG versus Samsung. Who makes a better phone? What's the, Oh, here's my flagship. What's your flagship look like? This is my daily driver. This is the one I look. Oh, this one has a better camera than this one. This one has a better screen. It's always. So stop with this whole, oh, it's a, stop the console warring. It's bullshit. It's educated consumerism. And if two things do something similar... They're versus each other, whether you like it or not. And they're going to be compared to one another. So if one has games and the other doesn't have games, yeah, that's happening. All right? So cut with the Kumbaya, Phil Spencer, Marshmallow bullshit and grow a pair. And realize that one's doing something for the gamers and one's not. And that's what grinds my gears. And congratulations to those who are going to get PlayStation 5s. And it's about the goddamn games and not about the specs. It's about the games. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Let's go. The battle's on. Let Mortal Kombat begin. And with that grind is, I want to thank you again for a late night grind. Staying up late with me. Hopefully Frox will get his PlayStation Congrats to everybody's getting it. Stay here. I'm going to be streaming some stuff. I'm going to see how this thing works. First impressions, I might do an unboxing. Definitely do the accessory review. But thank you again, everybody, for tuning in to the What Grinds My Gears late PlayStation 5 Eve. It is actually PlayStation 5 Day. Hopefully, I get it early in the day. Probably going to get it later in the day. But I'll be posting some Twitter pic, twit pics. So check me out on Twitter. And hit subscribe if you're new here because you're going to get the best. Grinds my gears right here. Raw, uncut, full opinionated. Again, it's my opinion. But it's also about the consumer. It's finding those deals and what's a value and what I think is a value. Because I evaluate it as something that holds value to me. And if it's worth some money. You know, I, I get a lot of things. And I want to thank everybody. You know, I get a lot of things. I'm really interested in technology and do all that kind of stuff. So check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button on your way out. Good night, everybody. Stay safe. Grinders, I'm out. Thank you again.